Hey there, this is the one boom, and in today's video, we're not reacting to the campaign footage from Modern Warfare 2 that you're seeing on screen right now. Instead, this video is going to be about some of the fears that I've been having about Modern Warfare 2, and Exclusive A somewhat confirmed that my fears are warranted, so I have to make this video. Now, obviously, Exclusive Ace is the person I'm getting this from, from his videos. I didn't ask him for this information. I didn't even ask if I could talk about it. So we're just winging it here. And essentially what he says in his videos is that from what Infinity Ward has shown him and from the gameplay they released to the rest of us, the campaign is way less serious, dark, and tactical. It's a lot more crazy spectacle you know, move to the objective and shoot waves of enemies sort of deal. More of a Call of Duty schlock sort of thing. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. Call of Duty campaigns are always fun when they're like a dumb action movie. But what everybody really enjoyed that I could tell about Modern Warfare 2019's campaign is that it took itself a little bit more serious. It was a little bit more tactical. And from what Exclusive Ace is saying, Modern Warfare 2 is moving away from that more tense, methodical, tactical, sort of feel and going for more crazy spectacle. Now, he said that this could just be the gameplay they showed him, but I think this, this is interesting because Modern Warfare 2019's marketing was sort of surrounding a more tense, serious, tactical feel, which was really nice to see after we had futuristic games, a boring return to World War II, and it was nice to see modern combat sort of treated seriously in a, in a campaign trailer. And it looks like, again, we're moving more towards spectacle. Why does this make me afraid? I'm combining the information that Ace has provided, which is that they're moving away from that more methodical tactical thing, at least in the stuff that he has seen and that has been shown to us, it's way more crazy. And then also he said that the, the multiplayer maps, the 6v6 core maps are much smaller and more simplistic and have a lot less verticality even. So of course, no porous design maps with, you know, asymmetrical power positions and, and things of the sort. So nothing like Crash from COD 4, for, for instance. I'm gonna move away from things that Ace has said because I don't wanna misrepresent his points by diving into them too deep. But to summarize, he has been shown only crazy high spectacle campaign stuff and that multiplayer apparently is going to be a little bit more geared towards fast paced simplistic combat compared to the more heavily variety filled, porous, large map design from, you know, MW 2019, which I get, but here's where my fears come in. My biggest fear is that because Modern Warfare 2019 was in the spotlight, had a lot of players, a lot of people swap spit with it at one point or another in its life cycle or afterwards. And while it was very popular with a lot of people, the people that didn't like it really hated the vibe of it, the, just the, the pacing, the gameplay and what the game was focusing on campiness over competition, variety over balance. And while I totally get that, there were some people that were either led to believe or just, you know, believe themselves or told their fan bases that the game was more on the level of something like insurgency or squad and not at all like traditional COD, which I think is a completely bogus statement. Obviously, Modern Warfare 2019 had some very, very, very bad design decisions. And I'm not saying it didn't. Please do not label me a fanboy. I'm just saying that if anything, Modern Warfare 2019 is way more like what I remember from COD 4, MW2, Black Ops 1, World at War, MW3, all that. Uh, so I don't agree with the idea that it's far away from traditional COD. I just think there was too many stacking things that definitely slowed the gameplay down and just generally fucked with the pace a bit. But there were people that believe that the doors and the map sizes and the, the level of cover and the windows and everything just made the game play like molasses. It was literally just a milsim wannabe, nothing like Call of Duty. And I'm worried, not so much that they, those people are wrong. That's not what this is about. I think they are, but that's not what the video is about. The video is about, I'm worried that Activision and Infinity Ward are going to overcorrect, And they're gonna take us into an area where a lot of that variety is sucked out of, out of the room and a lot of that variety will be replaced with predictability. The thing is, is that with predictability comes balance and allows for people to rely on their gun skill, and I think that is good. But honestly, in my opinion, Modern Warfare 2019's issues was that they had these really interesting, complicated maps with the worst collection of mechanics combined with them, and that's what caused the issue. And what I, so what, again, what I'm worried about is that they're gonna overcorrect here and that they're going to go into a direction where instead of improving the mechanics, 
deep down. How does the minimap work? How does the UAV work? How do suppressors function? How does the ghost perk work? When do you unlock claymores? How many claymores can you hold? Instead of worrying about that, I'm worried that they're going to go in a different direction and just simplify all the maps, make everything smaller so that nobody can complain that it's like a mill sim or that it's campy. I also don't like the idea of them doing core maps and something called battle maps, which are apparently more large scale environments. I'm not a fan of that. I really like the way Vanguard has handled this, where you have all of the maps are available and then there's different combat pacings. I don't like them making completely separate maps for a completely separate game mode or set of game modes. Because if you give me more interesting, complicated, larger maps, but then cram like 20, 25, 32 people on them, or whatever, I don't think I'm gonna like them as much. Because then it just feels frantic and messy instead of just a little messy. I think making well-balanced, variety-filled maps with interesting combat puzzles that are a part of them, I think that should be the focus. Make better, complicated maps. Don't just rely on the fact that they're complicated, and don't just simplify it when people complain. Hopefully I'm being clear here. I'm not worried that they're gonna fix Modern Warfare 2019's problems. I'm praying that they fix Modern Warfare 2019's problems. But between Exclusive Ace's take on the campaign footage he was shown, and the multiplayer information he received, I, I really feel like they are overcorrecting and trying to distance Modern Warfare 2 from the word tactical or realistic and going again for more high spectacle, high octane, fast paced action so that nobody can complain that the game is a milsim ripoff or is trying too hard to be realistic or, you know, yada yada, you get it. The thing is, is that Modern Warfare fans, I think, get to enjoy Modern Warfare for what it was slower, more methodical, you could call it tactical. I called it like tactical as in it had a tactical aesthetic, but it was still a Twitch shooter that often played very fast compared to other shooters I play. I'm definitely biased here. I do play stuff like Squad and Insurgency and games that are actually methodical and realistic, not COD. So MW didn't feel as slow to me as it probably did to somebody who only plays COD or only plays, you know, faster paced games. The thing is, if you ask somebody who's really a fan of Modern Warfare 2019, like what was your favorite mission? they're gonna probably say clean house or any of the other methodical, more tactical, intense missions because that's what really set the game apart. And what I'm worried about is that fans of 2019's Modern Warfare are going to feel robbed when it comes to Modern Warfare 2 if it overcorrected. If it loses that element that takes itself seriously, more tactical, more methodical, intense, if it takes more varied gameplay and replaces it with more balanced and competitive gameplay, I feel like that Modern Warfare name isn't going to hold those same people. And you might say, well, they're bad at the game, they don't matter, but I would tell you to get out more if you believe that someone's opinion doesn't matter just because they're not as cracked as you at Call of Duty. Me personally, I can roll with the punches a bit more, and while I would be worried that they're going to oversimplify a formula that I kind of like to have more variety in it, I can accept it, and I can understand why they would do it from a business standpoint, and I'm kind of here for it from a gameplay perspective. I would like a Call of Duty that more people can enjoy, and if simplifying the maps does that, then good. I just hope there's a couple outliers in the 6v6 maps, a couple of uh, larger maps that maybe could get added post-launch, you know, maybe they throw a Stonehaven or a Wasteland in the mix, like post-launch or something. Again, I'll give it time and I'm gonna go in with an open mind and an open heart even, but my biggest fear going in is that Infinity Ward is going to hyper overcorrect their formula. And instead of a more balanced, variety-filled, tactical feeling Call of Duty game, we get a more simplified video game with a tactical skin on it. Anyway, what are your biggest fears when it comes to Modern Warfare 2? Is it oversimplification? Is it campers happening again? Is it them fucking up the minimap or ghost or suppressor or whatever? Let me know down below and uh, I'll be happy to read your guys' fears and concerns. I'll see you when I see you guys. Goodbye.